I'm Hans Holman, Executive Director of the Colour Institute of Private Equity at London Business School. I'm here with uh, Nada Tavasoli. He's a keynote speaker at our 2011 symposium. Um, just spoke on brand value in private equity. Um, what are your thoughts on the key drivers of brand value in private equity, Nada? So there, there are different levels to think about the brand. One is as, as the industry as a whole. Yeah. And the first thing I did is go to Google Images and think about what kind of images show up. And it was a mixture of gluttons and piles of money and locusts. Yes. So it's an industry that has a branding issue as, as a whole. The second one is to think about the firms inside the industry. And um, they increasingly have to differentiate themselves. And that's where branding comes into the play. So they're now um, competing with lots of other private equity firms in an auction setting very often, where the tiebreaker might be the way they're perceived by the management um, of the firm. They, uh, in the 1980s, used to be involved in syndicated deals, where their individual brand wasn't as important. Uh, their brand is also very important in attracting talent, and given that the industry as a whole might not be perceived as positively mm -hmm. as you might think, um, it's very tough to attract some of the best talent yes. into the sector. And then they have to think about, of course, the brand value of their portfolio companies. Yes. And um, some of the data I showed in the keynote today was that brand value is often the single largest identifiable asset. And the focus point there was, well, how do I build brand value? I can't just build a brand and, and put it out there through advertising. I've got to deliver on the brand promise. And that's really a focus on people inside the organization. And that focus it takes a different sensitivity than the deal makers and the more financially or even operationally minded people have that are traditionally drawn to the industry. Yes. It's through the HR function. It's about connecting the business strategy through individual behavior that then expresses the brands to the customer. So what are the key things that you think private equity should be doing better to enhance its overall brand? Um, it starts with a sensitivity towards people below the top level of management. The focus is very much at the top and uh, the rest of the organization often has a very empty feeling in their stomachs, yes. they're worried about their jobs. Um, and the interesting thing is, well, how do I engage these people? Um, one way to engage them is to show them how important they are yes. in delivering the brand and the strategy for the firm. So it's to look beyond the numbers to look beyond operational improvements and from day one think about the culture of the organization, the people who are actually delivering value and engaging them in the process. And this is becoming increasingly important because exits are being pushed out in time. Absolutely. So things like building an organizational culture are becoming more and more important, yep. whether it's for an IPO, for secondary or tertiary uh, sale or trade sale, people are going to look at the organization and the strategic health. If you have engaged employees who understand the company and their value proposition, um, you're in a much better position to have a, a, a higher multiple in many ways for the exit. Thank you very much for your time today, Nada. My pleasure.